Hello awesome people, welcome back to Pastor Look Christian video tutorial. In today's video, we are going to look at how to design an annual harvest and Thanksgiving envelope in Adobe Photoshop. So we are going to learn how to do this design using Adobe Photoshop and you can print this one on an envelope and share it. Okay, so we are getting into December and we are going to have a lot of these programs. Okay. It's been a long time you see me on this channel making tutorials. Please forgive me. I have been busy, but I'll try my best to make it to you guys. All right. And also at the end of the video, you can get this PSD file for my digital store using the link in the description below. All right. So without further ado, let's get into this now in Adobe Photoshop. All right. So this is the envelope that we are going to try to do. So I have all the resource files that I'm going to use here. At the end of the video too, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can download those for free. So you can also practice as you learn with me. All right. So without further ado, let's create a document or a canvas to place or start working with. So first of all, I'll go to file or click on control plus N to create a new document. And with a new document, I'll go to print. Okay. And then under print, I'm going to look for envelope so when you come all the way down you are going to see dl okay that is the envelope size so select that and you get a size here all right and maybe you are going to get it as portrait but we want it as landscape so i'll click on landscape and then i'll click on create all right so this is what we are going to have and it is very easy for you to create this all right so the first thing that we need to do is to start developing the background and then we can start to bring in the test okay so first of all, I'll start by creating these, this layout. Okay. So, so let's go here and then with the help of the rectangle tool. So when you come to the two side here, you are going to see the rectangle tool. And I think the shortcut is U. So with that one, you can just click and drag to make this. Okay. And then you fill it with the color that you want to use. All right. And with me, I pick colors from so if the church or the company that you are trying to create this for has a logo, you can pick your colors from there. All right. So with my shape selected, I'll double click on this. Okay. To open the color picker and then I can sample my color here. You can also follow along by copy the color code. Okay. So you can copy the color code here and then you can follow alongside me and I'm going to make this shape here. Okay. So that one too is pretty simple i'll use the pen tool to help me so i'll just click here once or dab there once and also come and dab here once and i can close this but you see i'm getting something weird because it is making a shape on top of the shape that you've drawn which is something that we are also not looking for so let me undo and then to create a new layer so this one is going to be on its own separate layer so i will do the same thing again then afterwards i'll go to the pen tool again and click 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 you see it comes along with other stuff okay so let's select the carrier pen tool and then we are going to use that one to make this curve okay so you see this one it starts something like this and comes in so with the KVR paint, we can push this guy in and then we can also click and drag this guy in. Okay. So you see how we get that shape. Very simple. And if you are using the pen tool to do this, you are going to find it a bit difficult. But using this technique, you are good to go. Okay. So all you need to do is to spend some time and then push, push these guys in. Okay. Then I'll click on the shape tool here to make this one as a shape and then that one will fill with my color that's a red color then also i think i made a duplicate under it okay so let's try to do that one but before then you see i have some stroke on this one so when we select the shape and with your shape selected you can see we have strokes here so i'll click on that and i'll select no stroke or no fill then i'll make the duplicate so do so with the duplicate, you can just click and drag this one to the plus sign down here. It is going to make a duplicate for us. Then let me move this one a bit here. Then I will double click to change the color to let's say white. And then I'll move this one 
beneath that layer okay so let's move it a bit further and then you see we have some patterns going on behind here okay so let's try to bring those in and i have that one here so i'll click and drag this one into photoshop to fill that okay so let me push this guy here and i think i reduce the opacity but i save the amount that i reduce the opacity so we are not going to get that one so let me move this one all the way down okay so this is going to be the pattern and this is going to be just like this but but we have to clean this part up because we don't need it so with that one i'm going to use the layer max okay so i'll click on add the layer max and you see a white layer join the other one then with the help of your brush tool you can click on b for shortcut or you come here select the brush tool and then we are going to get something like this you can right click on your canvas and then you can increase the size of the brush or if you are lazy like me you can use the shortcut key that is the square bracket on the keyboard the right one increase it and the left one reduce the size then you see we have white here so we are going to paint with black so make sure you have black here and then also make sure you have opacity 100 percent and flow to 100 percent so we can paint this guy off we are not deleting it we are just hiding those pixels so anytime that we need it we can come here right click and disable this layer it shows right click and enable that layer okay so that's pretty simple then also let's look at you see we also have these guys here so okay i have that one too in my resource pack i'll just click and drag that so guys please if you're enjoying this video and it is your first time you come across this channel please i beg you to subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends who are into this kind of stuff okay it help us all to grow together okay and also please make sure you leave a comment below let me know if you are enjoying these lessons okay and also if you don't have the time to make it or if you want me to help you make designs you can contact me using the numbers you can see on your screen or if you have any concern and also i have a personal class for every person like if you're a beginner intermediate or you know you know photoshop but you also want to learn from me i have been working with photoshop over four or five years with four or five years experience so and I, I have courses that I'm selling, so you can DM me and I will link you up. It is very affordable, you can afford it. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't, so that you can be part of this awesome family. Without wasting much time, let's continue the video. All right, then from here, you see that with here, we are done with the background, okay? But we have to input the other details to make everything nice, all right? so. First of all, we are going to start with the church name, which I'm not going to type it here because I already have it here. I don't want this video to be too long. So this is the name of the church. And also we have the church logo. So with the church logo, I'm going to use the ellipse. Okay. And then with the ellipse, I'm going to draw a shape just like this. Hold down the shift key. And then I'm going to move this guy around. And also, you see that we have some stroke on this. Okay, so let's apply the same thing there. So with this one, when I select my rectangle shape or a lift shape, you see that it comes with a stroke. Let's increase the stroke to maybe 10 pixels and see. And then we can change the color. And I think you can use any color that you want. I think I will use something like this click on ok and if you feel the stroke is too small for you you can also increase the value to let's say 15 12 whatever that you want you can do okay then from here i'll go back to my resource file but before then let me change the color to white and let's go to the resource files and i have the logo of the church click and drag that one into photoshop then i'll move this one over here and if you like to, you can right click and create a creeping mask. Okay. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to add our test. So this is the next test that we are going to add. Okay. So uh, hands of God, international, blah, 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 respectfully invite. Then the name, 
since this is an envelope, we are going to add amount. So maybe when the person writes his or her name, then you can also write the amount that he put into the envelope. And you can also use this one as a card, like an invitation card, okay? So the font that I use over here is autograph, okay? So you can go to Google, type in autograph. It will leave a link which will lead you to download this, okay? It's very, very easy. You don't need to stress me to give you this font because when you type this one on Google, you can just download that and use it, okay? Then the next thing that we are going to do is with the help of the rectangle tool, okay? We are going to draw this shape, okay? Very simple. And then we want the inside as white and let's say we want the outside. So let me see what was the color of the stroke, black, okay? And if you like to, you can also corner the edges. So let's increase the edges to maybe 64 to corner those areas. And we can increase this one to maybe 8. Not too much. Okay, I think 8 is even too much. Let me maintain 5. And then let me move this guy a bit here. So you can use this same design for an invitation card or an envelope. Then the next thing is to bring in the annual harvest okay so with the annual harvest i'm going to use this same font so i'll make a duplicate okay so to make the duplicate hold down the alt key click and drag to make the duplicate okay so i'll click and drag to make the duplicate then i'm going to select my font i'm going to use the open sans font if you don't have this font too just go to Google and search for Open Sans font. You are going to get all these fonts, okay? It comes, it comes with different sizes, okay? So you can choose bold, regular, italic, semi-bold, whatever that you want to work with. So this is going to be an annual harvest, okay? So you can type in caps. So an annual harvest and Thanksgiving service. And also you can use your character panels so if you don't have the character panel and you want it, you can go to window and under window, you are going to see character here. Okay. Click on it. It is going to pop up on your screen. Then you can deal with that. Okay. So let's go here as maybe 22 and let's see if it will come close and let me increase the size by using this bounding box to increase the size. You can also increase the size here. You can type any value that you want in like 28 to make it big or use this bounding box to increase the size of this. All right, so immediately you have the test. You see, we also have some effect on this one. So it's just a simple effect. We have a gradient, we have shadows, and we also have a stroke. Okay, so to apply this one, when we go to FX, we can apply all of them at one side okay so let first so let me first of all add the gradient overlay then i'll also add the stroke and the last thing is going to be for the drop shadow so this is going to be for the stroke so i'm going to use this type of color that's a deep red gradient to a normal red so this is the color code and the other red you can also copy the color code as well and this is the color code for the second one and you can also click on this new to save the color code so you can use it next time so these are other gradients that i've been using on this channel okay then you see i have reflected here change to linear and also i'll change this one to zero and i can also click on reverse so uncheck that reverse so we are going to have this effect i can move this guy here more so that i'm going to have the deep red less then from here let's go to stroke and let's see if we can add something so outside there in white let's go to the drop shadow and with the drop shadow let's increase the size okay it's too much so let me reduce that i can move this one so when you click and drag you see you can move the gradient in real time okay so let's see okay let me reduce the opacity of the gradient because it's too much we just want light 
a very light of that. So you just have to spend some time to fine tune in the small details, okay? Then when you're done, you click on OK. And we can move this one here. So blah, 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 respectfully invite. Then we can also bring something like to the annual harvest and Thanksgiving service. So if you want to do that, you can just type. So guys, you can also bring the name and amount, okay? So they can write their name and amount. So if this is an invitation card, then we are going to remove this one here. So it's going to be only the name, the name of the church. And then, so House of God International Ministry, then the name, amount, annual harvest. So, so if we are going to print this one on an envelope, I think we can remove this one and we can also remove this guy, okay? So it's going to be just like this. Then you write your name and it is annual harvest. And if it is for invitation, we can bring these guys here and then we can remove this. Okay. So it is going to be this one. Respectfully invites you to the annual harvest. Okay. All right. Then from here, we can add the team and everything here. All right. So without one to we can use shapes so if you see from here you see that i use some shape over here okay so let's try to do that so i'll click on the rectangle to click and drag to make the shape and then i'm going to remove the stroke on this one and also i think with this one i apply this type of gradient okay so we can move these guys here okay so this one was just blue so let's copy that so then from here with the layer selected i'll go to edit and click on transform and select the store so i'm going to distort this so double click and move so you are going to get something like this click on this to accept changes yes i want to accept changes and then something like this make a duplicate okay so let me select everything and reduce the size a bit because I think it is too much. Transform. Reduce the size a bit. So I think we can also group all our backgrounds into one folder. So select all these guys. Control G into group. Then we can lock the background. And let's see, I want to reduce the size of this. Transform. Reduce the size a bit. Move these guys up a bit so that I can get a bit of space here. I don't think I have enough space. So let's see, align this one to the center. Then bring this one closer. Then I think I'm going to make a duplicate on this. Thus, I'll click and drag the gradient overlay only on this one. I can double click on the gradient overlay to change the direction to make it interesting. So click here to swap. Then I think we need to make some couple changes to that. Then I can move this guy a bit here. Then also, I think the gradient is not more effective here. So let me make it a bit deep. So open the gradient and then let me make this side more dark. Okay. Click on OK and also move this guy a bit here. All right, so I think I'm good with this. Okay, so then for me, we can add a team. All right, so every project needs to have a purpose and team. So the purpose is in aid of church building and the team is let's rise and build. So you can place those in. Let's reduce the size, transform. Reduce the size. 
push it up a bit so just spend some time to fine tune in the small details then from here you can see we have the building since it's an aid of church building and this is also showing like we are doing an annual harvest or something so i'll go to my resource files click and drag the church building into here reduce the size i can place that one here go to my resource file again and then i'll click and drag this one also into photoshop reduce the size a bit and we can place this guy here we can also increase the size all right so the other details are going to be the day the time and the rest all right so the other details are going to be this ones okay so the day the time venue and rsvp okay and also we have to add some of the elders or some of the check secretaries contact so anyone who try to find them can contact them okay so they can help them with donations and stuff all right so this is how simple you can design a church flyer in adobe photoshop okay so guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure you leave a comment below let me know if you enjoy this kind of video so more of this such content is going to come on your way thank you very much for watching this video thank you for clicking i love you keep creating never give up until next time peace okay